Good morning friends welcome to the point in today's video we will discuss upon various indexes that are very important from exams point of view so there are four indexes that we are going to discuss today and they are asked in some or the other exam in one way or the other so the first one is the human development index now this index was developed by united nations development program in 1990 and this index is a part of a, a very important report which is again published by UNDP that is human development report now this index pa uh, forms the part of this uh, report and it measures the progress of a country in two basic dimensions that is social and economic dimensions the social and economic dimensions of a country are based on the health of people their le level of education attainment and standard of living so friends if you must have noticed that these days the index that are being developed are more concerned about the quality of life rather than the quantitative figure that is gdp uh, they just they are not just focused on the economic growth of the country but they are also uh, equally emphasizing on the quality of life that the people of a country uh, lives and maintains basically they are focusing on the standard of living so is this human development index which do not totally emphasize on the economic growth alone but also is uh, concerned about the social and economic dimensions of life and the people so they basically have uh, three basic dimensions that is first is a long and healthy life second is access to knowledge and third is a decent standard of living now this standard of living includes house r uh, water clean environment justice security all this is ca uh, counted under the decent standard of living and human development index is focused on uh, three basic dimension and then they have sub categories of it which we are not concerned of uh, which is not of concern to us as of now now what you have to notice or you have to learn here is that first who publishes the index when was it published first okay by whom it was developed it is very important to note that because a very famous uh, Nobel laureate from our country also helped in developing it. So the name is uh, Amartya Sen and uh, he is an uh, economist from India and a very famous economist from uh, Pakistan also helped Amartya Sen in development, developing this index that is Mehboob Ul Haq and together they developed this index and that formed a part of HDR report again developed by UNDP. Now move on to the next topic or, or the next index which is inequality adjusted human development index. Now why was there, was there a need to develop inequality adjusted human development index? So friends this situation can happen that two countries can have a same ranking on the human development index but the uh, but the but there can be variation in the development level and social well-being amongst the two countries social well-being of the people amongst the two countries and the reason why it happens is because of the inequality that the people suffer from uh, in these two countries and the inequality degree uh, can differ from one country to another whereas their overall uh, ranking can be same on the human development index so uh, the human development index was developed in 1990 after 20 years uh, this ihdi was developed again by undp the ihdi combines a country's average achievement in health education and income with how those achievements are distributed amongst the country population so the three basic dimensions that was of hdi remains the same but now what is uh, included is how equally or how equivalently they are distributed amongst the country's population and how much inequality exists in the distribution of these three uh, things thus the IHDI is distribution sensitive average level of human development two countries with distribution different distribution of achievement can have the same average HDI because HDI is uh, calculated on the basis of arithmetic mean whereas IHDI is calculated on the basis of geometric mean so now this much detail you don't need to know I just gave you the information uh, so that you can have some clarity but in exams it is not asked that uh, how is HDI calculated is based on arithmetic mean or geometric mean it is just for your knowledge sake the difference between IHD and IHDI is that human development cost of inequality so if you see inequality adjusted HDI totally revolves 
again and again around the inequality that exist in the society that exist or it is pervasive everywhere in the distribution of resources or access to opportunities or education or health facilities so uh, it is overall concerned with the inequality that is prevailing in the society the ihdi allows a direct link to inequalities and in dimensions that is the three dimensions of hdi it can inform policy towards uh, inequality reductions it also helps uh, in a country gauging the situation of inequality that exists in their country uh, so that the government can plan uh, or uh, formulate the policies in such a manner as to reduce the inequalities in the near future so this was all about inequality adjusted hdi to the next index that is human poverty index now this index focused on the poverty dimension or the deprivations that a human faced uh, in the course of life it is again developed by united nations development program and it was uh, made a part of human development report to which hdi is also part of but it was made a part of uh, human development report in 1997 whereas the human development report itself was developed in 1990 and it concentrates on deprivation in basic dimensions of life again one piece of information just for your knowledge sake is that later uh, this human poverty index was uh, absorbed into a uh, multi dimensional poverty index which we are going to study in the next slide uh, this mdpi was developed in 2010 only by undp now we are going to study about mdpi so this mdpi or multi dimensional poverty index says that that poverty is never a unidimensional figure it is something multi dimensional because it is just not that you are uh, deprived of uh, money that makes you poverty there are so many factors that causes poverty in a human life it could be lack of uh, basic needs it could be access to education or health it could be uh, the financial or the monetary power all of this makes a person uh, poor or deprived of the basic needs of the life so mdpi was launched by united nation development program and ophi that is oxford poverty and human development initiative in 2010 and it absorbed the human poverty index and it is the most authentic uh, index to provide information relating to the poverty which is uh, being witnessed uh, in most of the countries it is uh, it is based on the basic idea that it is uh, poverty is not unidimensional rather it is multi dimensional that is why the name is given multi dimensional poverty index the index shows that the proportion of, uh, of poor people and the average number of deprivation each poor person experience at the same time it focuses the on the standard of living as well as the deprivations that a person experiences in the human life and the basic three dimensions are education health and standard of living so friends uh, before going to the exam you need to revise by whom it is developed the ranking of the country that is india's ranking in the current year in which you are appearing for the exam also the previous year's ranking why because sometime a statement is asked in a way that india has approved uh, sorry india has improved uh, in the ranking of multi dimensional poverty index as compared to the last year so now you have to eliminate the statement for that you need to have knowledge about the ranking of india in the previous year for an example in 2019 if india's rank was 138 and in 2020 its rank has improved by 5 points and uh, reaching to 132 or 133 so you need to know both the figures or get a hang of both the uh, uh, rankings in both the years so that you can easily eliminate so this is how the questions are asked in the exams so friends <coughs> we have discussed four major indexes that is developed by U united nations development program and this was all for the today's we thank you so much for your patience listening and please stay fit and stay at home